Welcome to the video under the name Through the Eyes of Tourists. Today's place is City of Białystok in Poland. My name is Bogdan Boroniecki and I am producer of this video. The construction of this church took a very long time, from the blueprint in 1925 to the finish point which was right after the Second War. The first rector of this church was a young father, Abramovich, who spent all his life in this parish and he died in his 80s. Białysek is also a great entertainment center. City Park called Plante. Excellent place to be with your family, with your uh, friends, with your children, with your grandchildren, especially on the weekend. Clean air, overwhelming greens around, they are just perfect. Walking through the city park, we encounter Praczki, Londres. They are intimidating, they are sexy, they are interesting. People like to stop by and make a pictures around with them. A lot of uh, all kind of entertainment is getting ready for the people for all kind of occasions. The city is quite well organized. local theater of Alexander Wengerko. This is the main gate to the Branitsky Palace. 
The initial name of the settlement came from the river flowing through it. In old Poland, the Ustok was called a clean, clear river, which means white was clear, slope, a river that rolls down the slope. <clears throat> According to the legend, uh, Białystok was founded in 1320th, when the great Lithuanian prince Gedimin hunted in the northwestern part of Bielska forest. The legend says that um, Prince Gedimin set a clean white slope and uh, it would be nice to build a hunting lodge over here or set up the village under the name Białystok. That's so much for the legend. The proven information about Białystok comes from the time of first half of the 15th century. Jan Clemens Branicki gave patronage over many artists and scientists who came to Białystok. Thanks to that, he gained the reputation of the most important cultural center. In the years 1750 and 1771, there was a court theater here and uh, in which the greatest opera stars at that time were guests. Jan Clemens Branicki gave the final shape to the palace, to the park and the garden team, called the Versal of Podlachie since 18th century, sometimes called also as Versal of the North. But during the Industrial Revolution, Białystok was also known as Manchester of the North. Jan Clemens Branicki today is considered the patron of the city. Every June evening in the palace courtyard among the fireworks, concerts and parades, the ghost of Jan Clemens himself appears during the Białystok days. The citizen of Białystok, Mr. Ludwig Zamenhof, created an international language called Esperanto. During the World War II, Germans were in Białystok already in September 15, 1939, and Soviets on September 22. On that day, Germans handed over to Soviet occupiers. During the 19-month stay in Białystok, the Soviet occupiers imposed extensive repressive measures against all residents in the city, even scouts. Tens of thousands of residents were sent deep into USSR to Siberia and Kazakhstan, 90% of whom died in the Soviet camp houses and also a victims of the murder carried out on Polish officers in Katyn. The retreating Germans and the Russians entering the city destroyed the buildings of Białystok in 80%. The city's industrial potential has fallen by 74%. Before the war were over 100,000 people in the city. Post-war Białystok had about 40,000. Today's Białystok is a city of about 300,000 people. Monument of Father Popiuszko, who was killed by communists. Today's city is visited by people from all over the world. surrounding of the cathedral church.
Mason's Lot. Hmm. Monument of John Paul II, dedicated for his visit in Białystok in 1991. Monument of the Polish statesman Marshal Józef Piłsudski. City Town Hall under those umbrellas meets tourists and locals. Cathedral and Parish Church. Statue of the dog Cavellin, uh, dedicated to his um, heroic past. Yeah, we still have many beautiful locations. Islamic religion is not unknown in this area. Modlimy się w dzień święty w piątek latem, bo mieszka nas więcej, albo przejeżdżamy z Białego Stoku na święte, wtedy tu ponad 100 osób się modli. To jest powiedzenie, że Kruszynia na Bochoniki to Mekka Medyna Polskie Tatarów. Cmentarz jest czynny tu, w Bochonikach i Warszawie. Jak umiera Tatar w Bydgoszczy czy w Szczecinie, to też go tu przywożą pochować. I w naszej tradycji, jak się pochowa, to się prochów nie narusza. I tu mamy nawet na szczycie nagrobek 
z 1699 roku, który pokazywałem. I we wsi wszyscy żyjemy w zgodzie, ale mamy jeden problem. Święta prawosławne, katolickie, muzułmańskie, nie ma kiedy pracować. Siada <śmiech> <śmiech> nie wypada piłować drzewa czy kosi kawę. I nasz meczet jest z 1795 roku, ma 200 lat. Nie ma nasz mecze z czelistych minaretów do nieba. Przypomina cerkiewkę kościół, bo tatar to żołnierz nie umie budować. Zlecił pracę miejscowe, a ci wykonali, jak Renika wtedy mówiła, na podłóg nieba i zwyczaju polskiego. As you can see, this area is so cosmopolitan that you can have all kind of religion, Catholics, Orthodox, Muslims, and many others. And everybody are trying to keep this community together and live as best as they can without bigger problems between them. The girl with the watering pot, she even ended up on the Polish postal stamp. If you will stop, must be also Jagiellonia, one of the top Polish soccer teams. The team which within the last few years made several steps ahead. One of the nicer stadiums in Poland and in Europe helps to gain better results. Fans of Jagiellonia are among the most die-hard fans in Poland. The management of Jagiellonia is trying their best to keep high standard in order to be able to be as much equal team to the others in Europe. Well, it is easy to say, but to do that is a completely different story. We just wish Jagiellonia the highest scores and the best results ever. There is also opera house in Białystok and they are very busy all year long.
This is a historic railroad building uh, located in Białystok. It has been remodeled and upgraded. This railroad is uh, one of the oldest in Europe, which were uh, built between uh, St. Petersburg and Vienna. It continues to serve their passengers. I am leaving Białystok and uh, I invite you to come over here to see these very beautiful cities.